In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the dog images and the backgrounds to create amazing pages of your own. So we're going to use Canva. Canva is free for everyone to use. It's an online editor. If you don't have an account with Canva yet, it's easy enough to create one. And it's free, as I say. So you will log into your Canva account and go to Create a Design. And go to Custom Size, because we want to create 8.5 by 11. Because that is the size of our coloring box. So there is our page, our first page, 8.5 by 11. We can call it, um, let's do dogs. And then I've already uploaded everything that I'm going to show you or use to show you. But what you will do is you will just go to uploads, upload media, and then go and find the images and the backgrounds wherever you save them and upload them to your Canva upload section. So the next thing to do is, I just want to point out that when you use Canva, they tend to make the picture or the drawing, whatever you want to call it, smaller. So if I take that one for instance, you can see how small it is. So what you need to do with each one is just pull it to the corner there, Pull it down to the corner here and there you go and that is the size that you want to use you want to leave the outside here definitely you want to leave that blank oops sorry because that is the area that will get cut off when your book gets printed now you will see in your back that you have backgrounds with and without borders i'm going to use the border once because it's just so much easier to see exactly where you can place everything you know and not go into the cut off zone. Right so there we have a background and we're going to find a dog that we can put on our background just to show you. Let's use this one. There we go. So we need to make it a bit smaller. It's a little bit big. And we'll put this doggy over there, and we'll find another one that we can bring in as well. And this one we'll just put over here, and there we go. And if you want, as I say, you can do whatever you please. You can put as many dogs, as few dogs, one dog, two dogs. You can even uh, copy the same dogs. Right, let's just do it quickly, make a duplicate, and then just flip it around. There we go. So now you have two dogs that you have there, high-fiving one another. And you have all the backgrounds, 10 backgrounds that you can use like this. And you can also, obviously, if you don't want to use backgrounds, you just want to use the dogs, you can just do that. We have included a bordered page that you can use to make sure that you stay within the borders. So there you have it. Then you can take your different dogs and just add them to your, your page. If you want to maybe make a page with a few dogs on it. without backgrounds. As you can see, it's really up to you what you decide to do, how you want to do it. It is totally your choice and the, there is so many varieties of pages that you can do that you can actually create a huge number of coloring books with this package. So there we go, so just put four in there, but that's as I said, it's just to show you how quick and easy it is. And you obviously get the SVG files as well, so if you want, would rather work with them in one of your editors that you prefer, 
you can do that as well now I just want to quickly also show you just two of the backgrounds and color the color backgrounds that we have now these you can use to create your own covers and it's also very very simple and easy you can follow what we teach you in the course and do that or you can use whatever if you know how to do it just use that and as you can see it's so easy they're beautifully co colored so you can use them and make your own covers without having to design anything yourself and you get all the dogs that you have here in full color and you also get all the backgrounds in full color then just one last thing that I want to share with you that you also get in the back and this is the what you can include to make um, activity books if you want to do more than just um, coloring pages now this is like a master one so you can decide then if you want to add dogs to it and what dogs and so on so we give you the masters let me just show you the next master one that we've already created um, which is that one here you can see we've already created the page with the dog already on it if you want to use it like that or there's the second one where we actually have the number tracing and the word tracing for one and we go from one to ten let me just show you ten there's ten so we have ten dogs and the kiddies can trace the ten in numbers and in letters and if you want to do it yourself if you don't want to use oops that's the wrong one if you don't want to use ours then you can just okay sorry I don't have one for the ten but they go from one to ten with not just numbers and then numbers and letters so you can use those to create your own activity pages. You can even use them to create with other pictures and things. You don't necessarily just have to use it for the dog pack. So I hope that helps and it shows you how easy you can use easily you can and quickly you can use this pack to create a huge number of individual coloring pages and activity pages and yours will always be different from anyone else out there enjoy see you soon